just a couple of minutes after the vote. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, as we report on the economic impact of the University of South Carolina across the state, including the upstate of South Carolina and, and USC upstate. I want to thank QS1 and, and Mr. Bill Cobb for making this facility available and for being here with us this afternoon. Uh, this is one of four events across the state. There were press conferences this morning in Columbia and Beaufort and this afternoon in Aiken and here to release the information from this economic impact study conducted by the Darla Moore School of Business at the University of South Carolina in Columbia. With us today from the Darla Moore School is Dr. Joey Von Nessen, who is a research economist in the Division of Research at the Darla Moore School. Uh, he has extensive background, myriad work with uh, economic impact, marketing studies in public and private sector uh, institutions, etc. has a specialization in housing economics and real estate, uh, frequent speaker to business and civic organizations, and frequently interviewed by various media for his expertise on economic issues in the state and across the nation. He holds a BA degree from Furman University, and we won't hold that against him. His PhD in economics is from the University of South Carolina, and he's going to tell us at least some of the results of this economic impact study for the University of South Carolina. Joey, thank you. Well, thank you all again for being here this afternoon. We are, are really excited to be rolling out this economic impact study and to be able to, uh, to tell the benefits of the University of South Carolina uh, and its impact on the state of South Carolina. It's certainly no secret that higher education is, is critically important to our state, both uh, in terms of economic growth, in terms of individual benefits, uh, a lifetime of uh, better job opportunities for alumni, uh, and it also has many social impacts as well, what we, uh, what we uh, describe as economic spillover effects. Uh, if you look at personal income, uh, the single best predictor of a state's ranking in terms of per capita personal income is the percentage of the population that has a college degree. So crucially important there. Also when we talk about poverty in South Carolina, uh, about if you look at just uh, people without a college degree, uh, the poverty rate in South Carolina is about 15%, but it's down to 4% if you just look at, uh, at the population that has a college degree. So higher education is a deterrent to that. Uh, unemployment, of course, is, is higher among those without a college degree as well. When you look at the recession that we're, that we're coming out of now, uh, and look at, you can see differences in the unemployment rate. Uh, the unemployment rate actually close to what it was before the recession uh, for those that have a college degree. And a lot of the uh, unemployment numbers are coming from those without, uh, without any, college, uh, any college background. So USC confers a lot of these benefits. There are non-financial benefits as well um, to, the, to the local community. Uh, people are healthier, uh, more involved in their communities in areas with uh, with college graduates, with a greater percentage of college graduates. So there are a number of benefits associated with higher education. And again, none of this is, uh, it should be any surprise to us, um, but there are real benefits. And the University of South Carolina, across the state, it, throughout its eight campuses, is committed to educating South Carolinians and uh, is able to participate in providing those benefits to, to the alumni and to the South Carolina community uh, as a whole. Uh, USC confers those benefits. The total economic uh, output that is associated with the University of South Carolina on the state is about $4.1 billion in terms of economic output. That is, that's uh, the big number, and I'm going to talk about what comprises that number here shortly. Um, but that refers to the total demand for all the goods and services that can be traced back to the University of South Carolina. It totals about $4.1 billion. That's associated with about 53,000 jobs or about one in every 37 jobs in the state of South Carolina. Again, traced either directly or indirectly back to, uh, back to the University of South Carolina. So when we look at the direct and the indirect uh, impacts, when we want to look at the specific components of what this economic impact study really focuses on. So what makes up that $4.1 billion? What makes up those 53,000 jobs? What are the impacts that we looked at? Well, first of all, the biggest impact that the university has on uh, the University of South Carolina system has on the state is the alumni impact. So alumni, uh, when they go out and they obtain positions using their college degree, they are able to command a wage premium over what they would have been able to earn without their college degree. So an example would be someone who has a bachelor's degree in, let's say, business administration. 
uh, working in Spartanburg County. Well, they'll be able to command a wage premium that they would not have been able to, to uh, achieve without that USC degree if they only had their high school diploma. And so we look at that marginal wage increase. Similarly, if you have someone with a master's degree or with a PhD degree, uh, then we can compare those wages to what they would have been had the person had the master's degree or if the master's degree recipient had just had the bachelor's degree. We look at those wage premiums and USC has about 155,000 total in-state alumni uh, living in South Carolina, uh, the majority of which are working in the state. And we have data that actually tracks where they are and what, their, what degree that they hold. And so that, is able, that has enabled us to uh, quantify what that marginal benefit is um, in, in their earning power, in their earning potential. And we're able to quantify that. So that's what we mean when we talk about the alumni impact, those additional wages. Now, how does that impact the economy? Well, if you think about how wages typically, how would, how would you handle them in, in, in your life? So when, when you uh, get a job or when you get, uh, in addition to your wages, you go out and you'll save some of it, you'll spend some of it outside of South Carolina, but the majority of it gets spent right here uh, in the local community and in the state of South Carolina. So just like you would go out, you would purchase uh, or increase your purchases with retailers, uh, with food, with restaurants, uh, with a new car, perhaps with a new house, all of these different items. Uh, you stimulate the economy with. So when we see these increased wages due to the college degrees uh, from USC uh, that the alumni can then go out, use those additional wages and spend and put dollars right here into the South Carolina economy. The second impact uh, that goes right along with the alumni impact is what I was alluding to earlier, the economic spillover effects. And this has to do primarily with the benefits of an increased percentage of college graduates living in the state of South Carolina or in the particular community uh, that we're looking at. And so the most, uh, uh, the most prevalent uh, spillover effect that we talk about is the knowledge spillover effect. So this is the impact from having more college graduates in the workplace bringing new skill sets and, new no and a new knowledge base to the work environment. And so what happens in cases like these is they begin to share those skill sets that they have acquired with other workers and by informal, in both formal business and informal settings, they tend to transfer some of those skill sets uh, on the job. And so all workers become more productive in addition to just the gains uh, that the alumni have from their degree. And so as a result, uh, we can quantify that and using uh, a standard methodology in the economics literature uh, that actually quantifies what the impact is of an additional, uh, of additional college graduates in a population on the wages of the working population as a whole. So those are the economic spillover effects that we quantify. And again, those go right along uh, with the alumni impacts. Those complement one another uh, and they go together. The final impact is uh, that of USC expenditures. So we look specifically at the non-state funded expenditures that the USC system uh, uh, spends right here in South Carolina. Those are direct dollars that are spent in the state. Uh, we looked at personnel, we looked at construction, uh, we looked at research and development and also education foundations and looked at those dollars that were spent in the economy, in the local economy, and created direct uh, impacts there, as well as the indirect impacts from uh, the, the increased demand for the suppliers and the vendors. So an example of that would be uh, remodeling or building uh, new construction. When you look at the suppliers who come in that USC has to hire for those types of activities and services, well, the vendors and suppliers of those companies also have to uh, hire additional uh, workers and they also have to buy additional supplies in providing for the services that they've been contracted with USC to do. And those suppliers have see increases in demand and those suppliers see increases in demand and so on and so forth. And so that's where we get an indirect impact from there as well. So when we sum that up, the alumni impact, the economic spillover effects and the USC expenditures, that's where we get our total impact uh, on the state of South Carolina of, of $4.1 billion uh, and, the, and the jobs total of about 53,000 directly or indirectly related back to the University of South Carolina. The final result, and really the key result here, are the tax implications that we see. So if we go back and we look at that $4.1 billion output and we look at the uh, majority of that which is comprised in terms of the alumni wages and economic spillover effects, another uh, side effect of that is that when alumni are earning more wages, when South Carolina citizens are earning more, they're also paying more in income tax revenue. And it turns out that through the, three, the combination of the three effects, the alumni effect, the economic spillover effects, uh, and then the USC non-state funded expenditures effect, uh, USC uh, 
ends up generating uh, about $200 million for the state in terms of tax revenue. Uh, the annual state appropriations to the University of South Carolina is about $125 million. So uh, USC generates uh, in excess of, 75 or of $74 million over what they generally receive uh, from apportions from the state government. So USC provides a lot of benefits for everyone, both for individuals in terms of uh, a lifetime of better job opportunities, uh, increased wages, and increased wage potential to state and local communities through the spillover effects, uh, and then also government benefits in terms of the higher revenues uh, for the state as well. And then finally, uh, I want to mention that in addition to looking at the state, we also broke these numbers down uh, at the regional level. So when we look at the upstate in particular, uh, it generates about $388 million in economic output for the state of South Carolina uh, and about 4,100 jobs, much of which is, is uh, uh, localized here in the local upstate region. Uh, so not only does USC have a statewide impact, but it's also impacting each of the local regions at each of the eight satellite, or seven satellite campuses and the flagship uh, campus as well. And also in every county, we have graduates that are working in virtually every county in South Carolina. So these alumni impacts that we're talking about, these increased wages and these spillover effects, uh, they are happening uh, throughout the state of South Carolina. And we break that down in the report as well. So USC has a, a very strong impact, it's a, a major economic driver, and it really illustrates the benefits of, of higher education uh, as a means of economic growth and development and benefit to the individuals and to the community uh, in, the, uh, in the state of South Carolina. Uh, and so that's our summary, and I believe we can take some questions now, or do we uh, wanna? Bill Cobb is here, a, a local businessman, business leader, and uh, if he wants to say a few words about the economic impact he's aware of of USC Upstate on Spartanburg and this part of the world, uh, I'd like for Bill to be able to do that. So, Bill. I'll be your one and only speaker today without a PhD. <laughs> you may experience some loss of intelligence and verbal skills, but we will do our best to get through it. Uh, in the interest of full disclosure, I am a graduate of the University of South Carolina, and I'll try not to let that slant my, my uh, remarks. But, uh, I find the, uh, the report that he describes uh, very encouraging, because there's a group I'm involved with in Spartanburg here that's called the College Hub. And as we look at Spartanburg, uh, we see a community with about an 18% baccalaureate rate. Um, about 8% associate degrees and almost 80% high school degrees. And we see education as, as a critical part of the mix. If, if I could describe Spartanburg's economy much like you want to make a cake, you've got to get the right ingredients to get a cake that's going to be good for everybody. And having the right mixture of college graduates, associates, and high school graduates is critical in creating an economy that can prosper for all of us. If you don't get that right, the job opportunities for your citizens get limited. So you, you miss some of the jobs that, they, that are just available to you. And the, the wider, or I said, the more education you obtain, the wider your job opportunities are. Your opportunities for better jobs or more jobs, uh, as he refers to, people with more education have a much less unemployment rate than people with less education. So while there are jobs in our community for all levels of education, uh, we strive to get a better balance between all those, those levels. And the, the numbers that he speaks to, I think, in fact, prove the case that we need to do those kind of things. The, the, the contributions that Upstate uh, makes to our community go far beyond the money. It helps us be a, a city and a county that can attract business for our citizens. It's a major factor when people visit our town as to what sign of educational opportunities would they have for their employees and their families, their sons and daughters uh, to go to school here. And it's become a recognized college here in the upstate for producing quality graduates. Uh, I'm not sure, <clears throat> I would get into all the numbers, but then I would get into real trouble <laughs> rather quickly. So I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm happy to this three, 388 million. I suspect if you look at the intangibles on top of that to our community long term, it's way more than that what it's worth to our community. That's all I would have to say. Thank you. Uh, 
since, since Bill disclosed, uh, and, and it's through nothing to do with who was invited or how we got here, but uh, all three of the folks up here are University of South Carolina graduates. Uh, I did a PhD there, and, uh, as Joey did, and, and Bill uh, just said he had a degree from there. So. You know what kept me from getting a PhD, don't you? Just two things, skill and desire. <laughs> <laughs> just two things. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? Or? Any questions? Sorry. Dr. Moore, I'll ask you first, maybe you know, uh, what, are, what is the percentage of USC students in the anti-system from in-state? I don't know the system number. From out of state? I don't know the system number. Uh, USC upstate is 94% in-state students. I don't know that number for the entire system. <laughs> Mr. Von Nessen, this report doesn't include graduates of the system that then leave the state. That's correct. We so it would be so so there could be even a higher impact if we could keep some of these. Yes, that's absolutely correct. This this focuses exclusively on alumni who stay in the state and work. I understand. Mm -hmm. Do you see the increase? There are more and more businesses coming to Stockburg County and to South Carolina. Uh, do you see that as a factor in keeping a lot of these people in state? Oh, absolutely. I think that um, one of the things that we have to work on as we move through the economic recovery and and to attract businesses to South Carolina is have a workforce that's that's ready for those businesses when they come. And I think uh, we can look at. Uh, we can look at the four-year degree programs and we can look at the technical college programs as well. And those two are complements. They work together. And we have to uh, have a, an organized system as to who we're going to go after and make sure that we are ready so that when those employers come that they, on day one, uh, can have a, have a good workforce to draw from. So yeah, there's no question that that's, that's critically important. Thank you, sir. Any other questions? I think I'll, I'll be here for a few minutes if you have any, any questions you'd like to ask me individually, and I think the rest of what you need to hear for at least a couple of minutes. So uh, feel free to come up and ask anything if you, if you want to. And thank you for being here again. And so let's get the word out.